In this video series, we're going to learn how to market using Twitter. Twitter is like a combination of a blog and instant messaging, as how I describe it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through account setup, and we're going to show you how to set it up properly to be marketing to people, yet not spam them. We'll also go through how to specifically market using Twitter in both a passive and a direct way. We will use some third-party programs as well, and I'll show you which ones and how to use those. Okay, so the first step is to set up your Twitter account. There's nothing difficult about setting up a Twitter account, but there are a couple things you need to take into consideration. So first just go to twitter.com and then click on get started or join or whatever button might appear here because sometimes it changes. So just click on here. Now the first thing you want to do is put in your full name and you should enter your real name in here. Next is username. Now you need to give some thought here because the username is also part of the URL. So this is a good place to put a reference to either your niche that you're going to promote or to your own site or to the name of your site or to the name of your business. Something with a keyword in it that has something to do with what you're doing should go here. Okay, so on this case I chose PLR Money Machine. Okay, next let's go and choose a password here. And you can choose anything you want to use. Then here you put in your email address. This should be a business email address and it should be one that you check once in a while because you'll get some notifications here of when people have joined you as followers. Now you don't have to have the email sent to you either but sometimes it's nice to look at it especially at first to see how many people are actually following you. Followers are the equivalent of friends on other networks. Okay, so put your email address in there. The next one, I want the inside scoop. Please send me email updates. I suggest that you turn that off because you could get a lot of them. And then down here, you just type in the words that are showing up here and then click create my account. Okay, at this point, if you it can check if you have friends on any of these other services. We'll skip this step for now. We're also going to skip this step. Okay, and then we get to this point. This is our page where we actually do our tweets, our home page. Now what we're going to do before we go any further, let's just go through the different things we see here and I'll explain what they are. Under at replies, this is where people can reply to your tweets when you have made them. They can just go in there and reply back to you. And you can see those replies in here. Okay, so they appear here. Direct messages. This is where people can send you direct messages, and this is where you will see them. You can also send direct messages to other people from within here. You just pick them out of your followers list, which we don't have any of yet, and then you can send them a direct message here, 140 characters at maximum. Favorites, you can move your posts into your favorites area and then they will always appear in here even though your regular posts or tweets will go down the screen and disappear eventually. Now everyone, this is where you can look at what everyone is posting at this particular time. And from here you could also go and reply to them if you want to do that. And then following, you can add followers in here. And if you had some follow people you were following, you can see them in here as well. Okay, so let's go back up to home. And you'll notice that up here we have, what are you doing? And this is where you type in your tweaks to communicate with people. Now let's go on with the setup now. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our settings. Okay. 
So now we can set anything we want in here. And we can change our username here if we want. We can change our email address if we want. And if we do that, it's going to prompt us for our password again. Down here, our time zone, you might want to set that to be correct. And then your more information URL. Here's a good chance to link to your blog or to your website homepage. You can give a simple one line bio down here. Just tell a little bit about yourself. Or you can put something about what you're promoting in here. If you want, you can put your city in here or whatever you want to put as to your location and then your language. Down here, you can protect your updates. What this means is that it will keep you out of the public timeline. Remember, we clicked on public and you could see everybody in there that have been tweeting. Well, if you check this, then you're not going to appear in there and only people that you approve will be able to see you. So we're probably not going to want to do that. Okay, so we can just save that. Now up at the top here, there's more things we can change. If you want to change your password, just go in here and do it. Now let's look at devices. This allows you to integrate Twitter with your mobile phone. And what that allows you to do is you can actually send tweets into your Twitter account. So you can tweet from your phone using the text messaging feature, or you can receive tweets to your phone or both. And then, so what you do is you put your phone number in here with the country code in front of it, and they have examples of how to do it here. And then if you click this, it's okay for Twitter to send text messages to my phone. So you can get text messages in and of course standard rates will apply there so if you have a plan for text messaging that would be better if you have unlimited text messaging you might want to turn this on otherwise you probably don't want to do that okay notices you have an auto nudge here if you put your cell phone number in there and you click this nudge and you haven't updated your Twitter account for 24 hours it's going to send you a text message Here you have a filter for your replies. So what this is telling you is in your timeline, which where you, you saw where you typed in what you're doing and then there was space underneath that, those are the replies. So you can either have replies to the people I'm following, so you'd see the replies from them, or all replies, so you'd see replies from everybody, or no replies. So usually you're going to want to set that that way but it's up to you here you can set if you want to get an email when someone starts following us and we can email when I receive a new direct message and if you want the email when a newsletter has been published or updated okay now you notice the default picture that's sitting up here that's not much good to anybody so what you're going to want to do and I suggest that you do do this, is put a picture of yourself in here. And it can be in JPEG, GIF, or PNG format up to 700K. So all you do is browse for it on your computer, select it, and save. Okay, and then up here we have design. This allows you to select a predefined design and then if you want, you can change the background image and change the design colors if you want as well. Okay, so just pick one. I've got a couple here that didn't load up for some reason. So we'll pick one. Okay, now we save the changes. Okay, so now our design has been changed. Let's just go and have a look here. Okay, and there it is. Okay, so we've changed the theme now and we've got all the basic stuff done. In the next video, we'll go over some advanced things that we can do.